Well, greetings everybody and welcome to another Jester Reviews. And uh, yes, today I realise I'm a little bit late in bringing you this uh, this this ship, the Miranda Mark I, um, as uh, it's been out for quite some time. Now I picked this ship up some time ago um, when uh, Cryptic had a sale on. So uh, I not only managed to pick this up by buying some EC but you also got some bonus EC as well and uh, with that bonus I uh, I picked up the original bridge as well so I will take a look at that as well a little bit later on so here is the pack which when it was released came out at um, with 50% off so I grabbed it with both hands because I do like the original Star Trek ship design so I'm a little bit biased really um, in that respect so um, with this pack, uh, I got 36 inventory slots, 12 bank slots, 6 bridge officer slots, and 2 starship slots. Um, and I got 1 level 65 original Starfleet Captain um, upgrade, and the Miranda Multimission Cruiser T6. Now, to my utter amazement, uh, when I went into the ship... Um, tailors I actually realized we've got including this one nine skins uh, for this ship which uh, yes I'll uh, I'll go through uh, right now so first here we have the centaur um, which yeah it's 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 not too bad I suppose um, yeah it, depends what you like uh, and then we have the Soyuz class now we've got to be careful with this with this name this is the Shikar <laughs> class and I won't tell you how many takes I've done with that one and how many giggles that brought then we have the Reliant class um, the <laughs> Malachowski Malachowski is that how it's pronounced yeah I think that's how it's pronounced uh, the Clark which is even simpler to say, really. The Saratoga and the Miranda Mark I Beta. And this is the Miranda um, Mark I, which I really do like. Um, have I said that once? Yeah, I have said that once. Yeah, I really do like this one. Especially, I do like the uh, books I collectors here on the near cells. I think, I think that's a nice touch. I do like that. Yeah, excellent. Right, so... Let's have a quick look uh, at the build. I'm not going to bore you too much with the build, um, but some people do like me to go through it, so we'll we'll quickly go through the build. So I have four phase harmonic dual beam banks at the front, one of which is the phaser wide angle dual heavy beam bank, which is part of the discovery set from your discovery tab. And the second part of that is the dark matter quantum torpedo, with the third part of that being the tactical locus custom fire control, um, which gives us a three-piece set. Uh, I've also upgraded this to a T6X, by the way, as well. Um, so that, that's giving me extra, extra universal console slots. Uh, deflector impulse warp and shield. Uh, this is becoming the standard elite fleet intervention protomatter deflector array. Uh, the prevailing innovated uh, impulse engines. I'm actually running the Terran Task Force Quantum Capacitor Warp Core with this and the Tilly's Review Pending Modified Shield from the Discovery set. So that, that's basically becoming uh, my standard build for now, but um, anyhow. In the rear, uh, we have um, an omnidirectional covert phaser beam array. 
Uh, we have a trilithium enhanced omnidirectional phaser beam. And we have the Terran Task Force phaser beam array, which is giving me a plus 2% bonus all damage. Uh, in the device slots, we have red matter capacitor, uh, battery, energy amplifier. Speaking of KLS, we're going to change that. Uh, yes, so we'll have that in there because we could take that from the inventory. Uh, hull patch, we'll change that as well. For that, uh, which is the shield resi resilience boost battery, and we'll change that as well. Uh, and we'll have that in there. And this is the reactive armor catalyst. Uh, we've spoken about the Tactical Locus Custom Fire Control console. In the engineering consoles, I have the Universal Potential Energy Entangler, which gives me a plus 15 flight turn rate, 10, uh, plus 10 accuracy rating, and plus 10 defense rating. Uh, I have the uh, console trallium D plating, bionial infusion circuits, which is a lobby item, uh, Universal Dynamic Power Redistributor module, which is again, um, you could normally get this if you're a federation player by acquiring the atlas which is now on the exchange for absolutely silly money but uh, yes i think you'll have to give up a couple of kidneys to get one of them now moving on to the science consoles we have the genesis seed which gives us a plus 28.5 radiation damage and a 28.5 starship drain expertise we have the console domino, which gives me a plus 15% phaser damage and a plus 20 accuracy rating. Um, this console is, is really, really good. I do quite like it. Get a 25% firing cycle here for energy weapons, plus 25% bonus all damage, plus 25% recharge speed for bridge officer abilities and 100% recharge speed for torpedo weapons. Um, it is part of a set. Oops. It is part of a set, but I only have this one. Um, in fact, I may I may look into getting the other pieces of that set, but we'll see how we go. Uh, moving on quickly, the tachyokinetic converter, which I've put on here for the 39.4 flight turn rate, 1.3 critical chance, and 13.1 critical severity, and that is a lobby item as well. Another lobby item is the Universal Bounty Hunter's Friend, which is giving me a plus 39.4 energy damage resistance rating and a 29.5 Starship Shield restoration, uh, with a minus 10% weapons power cost. Again, it's, that again is part of a, a set, but uh, I only have that one. In the tactical consoles, I have three tactical vulnerability locators. And finally, in the hangar, I have the Elite Class F shuttles, which gives me uh, some phaser beam arrays, photon torpedo launchers, emergency power to shields 3, and beam overload 2. Um, moving on to the traits very quickly uh, absorptive hull plating, which gives a plus 25% for physical and kinetic damage resistance rating, tier 2, uh, rapid repairs, regenerates 1. Whoops. Regenerates 1555.5 uh, hull, 1.25% of your current max every three seconds. If I can keep it on the screen and read it, there we go. In space, twice this amount is regenerated out of combat. Excellent. Uh, tier 3, uh, we have uh, plus 25 energy damage and radiation damage resistance rating. Tier 4, we have armored hull, plus 10%. Now, tier 5, we have uh, a few traits here um, evasion specialist pilot bridge officer abilities and emergency power to engines grant shield regeneration and hardness plus uh, 721.2 shield regeneration for five seconds and reduces damage to shields by 20 percent for five seconds um, the next trait is greater than the sum Emergency to auxiliary or command buff abilities grants hold and shield regeneration and subsystem power to self and nearby allies. To self and up to 10 allies within 5 kilometers for 10 seconds, plus 2, minus 20 all power levels based on number of targets. Restore 0.3% and minus 3% of maximum hull and maximum shields each second. God, that were a mouthful, wasn't it? And finally... Uh, one big happy fleet. I do actually like this one. 
shields offline with first combat damage, increasing shield penetration during combat. While in combat, plus 5% energy weapon shield penetration every 10 seconds. 10 stacks maximum. When entering combat on first damage dealt, shield subsystems offline for 10.9 seconds. Wowzers. Ready for a drink now after that. Right, so um, let's have a quick look at the stations. We have a Lieutenant Universal Station. We have an Ensign Universal Station. We have a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station. And we have a Commander Engineering Stroke Temporal Ops Station. And we have a Lieutenant Commander Science Stroke Pilot Station. Yes, I would have liked a, a, a Commander Tactical Station for this. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? With all those different skins, if you could have had a few different variations. But uh, anyhow... It is where it is, isn't it? So there we go. Right. So um, enough of me talking. Um, I won't go into the traits just yet. I mean, um, if you do want me to cover traits, um, then just let me know. But uh, I'm very much aware that how long these videos do go on, and uh, I don't want any of you falling asleep on me. Um, you are still awake, aren't you? Well, let's hope so. Anyway, right, okay. So let's go to the uh, bridge because I've actually purchased the original Star Trek um, bridge. And uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this, actually. So uh, let's go there and uh, yeah, catch up with the crew. So here we are on the um, bridge of, um, yeah, if you remember, the original Star Trek uh, Enterprise bridge. I'm really pleased with this. Um, now, I picked this up. Um, I, I mean, technically speaking, I got it for half price because I got extra Zen, and the bridge was um, also on a bit of a discount. So uh, yeah, really, really, it was half price. So I'm so pleased with it. Um, you know, there's a few issues which uh, I'll go into and show you very shortly. Um, but yeah, really like this bridge. Really nice. I like the colours. It's 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 absolutely great, isn't it? Right. So let's. Uh, Let's just have a quick uh, wander around, have a quick chat with the crew. And uh, hello there, number one. How's things going? Um, what? There's what? Mr. Mr. Potato Head has something to say to me. What? What is that? All right. Right, I'll go see him straight away. Right, okay. All right, uh, Mr. Potato Head, what's the, what's the problem? I hear number one's... Got, you, you've done what? As part of the hierarchy culture, you've actually, th you've actually thrown out a, a challenge to somebody. Who, who have you thrown the challenger out to? Oh yes, he's he's a Reman, isn't he? Yes, on uh, on Captain uh, Raquel's ship. Yes. Oh right, excellent. Right. So you're keeping up the uh, keeping up the side of the Federation. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Do you think you can win? You don't know. Right. Oh dear. Well, be positive. Be positive. Of course you will win. Keep keep the end of the Federation up there. Yes. Uh, what? What do you mean the hierarchy tradition dictates that I fight for you? What's all that about? What? So, so you recommend? So, so, we, so, so you throw out a challenge, and your captain has to fight it for you. Is that what you're saying to me? Well, I'm not very keen on that idea. What, what do you mean about it? Look, look, I've got lots of things. I'm saving the galaxy. I can't be fighting your battles for you, for goodness' sake. Anyway, he's a big chap. That he's a, he's a very big chap. That uh, that Reman. What do you mean? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yeah, the bigger they are, the harder they hit as well. Well, right. Well, we'll have to sort this out. Well, I can't. Uh, number one, um, it would appear that I have to fight for uh, Mr. Potato Head. I'm fighting uh, a Reman off um, Captain Raquel's ship. I mean, I'm not happy about that. I mean, how how can he do that? What do you mean, get him moved? Hey, that's. That's a cracking idea, that. That's, oh, yeah, that that's a really good idea. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's transfer him to Captain Valentine's ship. Tell Captain Valentine he's an excellent officer and uh, we want to transfer him. Then let Captain Valentine have the, have the uh, kudos of fighting for him, shall we? Excellent, yes, get him transferred. Fantastic. Right, really good. Yes, well, uh, Mr. Potato Head, carry on. Um... Yes, no, I, I, you know, I'd appreciate it next time if you'd fill me in before you start throwing out challenges to fight people. Cause, you know, it can really ruin your day, that, if, you, if you're not prepared for it. So, uh, anyhow, carry on, carry on. <laughs> sort him out. He'll be gone by the end of the day. 
Right, so let's go and have a look at the uh, rest of this ship, shall we? So here we are, the crew deck. Oh, this is my quarters. Yeah, yeah it's a bit, bit spartan, isn't it? You know, compared to some of the ships I've been on. I mean, can we get in it? Well, can't even get in here. We've got a, got a better... I mean, I mean, Captain Kirk, he had a better, better quarters than me, and I'm, I'm captain. Anyway, right, okay, well... Let's have a look in here. Well, oh, we can't get in there. Now, someone told me you can get into a Jeffrey's tube round here. No? Here, can we get in here? No? Well, that's a bit disconcerting. You know, why aren't we falling down that hole? Anyway, never mind. Um, no, that doesn't open. Neither does that. Neither does that. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go. Sick bay. Yes. Well, what on earth's going on here with this chap? Um, wh why are you on the floor, sir? What's 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 occurring? You've no idea. You've broken your legs. Well, 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 you're in the right place, I suppose. He's broke his legs. Right, let's move on. Oh, I've got another one here who's broken his legs. What's what's happened here? Um, you've beamed into a bulkhead. Right. Well, that's a bit... Uh, excuse me, Doctor. Um, we've got a couple of people here. One with broken legs and another one here that's been beamed into a bulkhead. Do, do you think you can look into that? Um, it's a bit disconcerting seeing somebody part way through the ship. D did you hear me? Did you hear me? Hello? Well, I presume he heard me. But anyway, let's move on. And... Uh, oh, hello. And... Uh, something wrong with this corner? Corners go. Anyway, carry on. Carry on, strange person. And, um, yes, well, none of this when Dr. McCoy was around. Well, y yes, I, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Oh, my word, this is a bit weird. So what's going on in here? Oh, hello, crewman, how are you? Oh, I can see you are not very well. And, um, and what is pointing to the roof, but, um, well, 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 I'll leave you to it. Carry on, nurse. You're doing a really good job. Right, so uh, let's get out of sick bags. I'm feeling quite ill. Oh, dear me. Stressed already. So uh, let's get round here. Oh, that's a turbo lift. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Lounge. Oh, this. Oh, my word. What's going on here? Um, right, it would appear we've got some problems here. Uh, yes, uh, Captain to sick bay, uh, uh, we we have one, two, three, five individuals who appear to have been beamed into the bulkhead will require your help, if you don't mind. Yes, right, okay, thank you. Right, so what is this? What does this do? Oh, that's that's quite clever, isn't it? Excellent. Right, and uh, what does this do? Oh, this is for trophies. Right, okay. Um, so we've so moving over here we have um, a chef, bartender, and counsellor. Two other individuals. It's very odd, this, isn't it? Looking at them on the floor there like that. I mean, yes, I think uh, Cripsit needs to get a grip of that. That looks a bit. That looks very odd. But uh, anyhow, right. Let's move on quickly. What's down here? Let's have a look. Oh, we've been here. We've been here. Oh, my word. Where are we now? I'm, I'm lost. Right, let's go over here. Conference room. And two more individuals who are uh, struggling. Federation envoy. Access to library files and contact duty officers. What does, what does this do? Oh, again, look. There we go. Screens. That's a nice touch. Access to bank account. Yeah, I quite like that. What's, what does this one do? Oh, setting up more trophies. There we go. Right, excellent. Right, let's move on. What's in here? Nothing. Right, let's go to the uh, engineering deck. Right, um, 
Oh, nothing going on in there. Oh, here we are. Engineering. Engineering lab. Scientist. So you do. Excellent. Right, that's that's cool. I really, I really do like this uh, design. It's, it's it's really nice. I really do like it. Um, oh, can't go in there. Nothing here. Oh, in here. What's in here? Transporter room. Yes, very much like the original. Um, select a small craft. I mean, why would you be in the transporter room? That's that's a bit strange, isn't it? Yes, was there something I could do for you? Right, so let's have another look around, see what else there is here. Ah, now, this is um, this is a bit concerning. Um, as you can see here, you can see out into space. Now, when I first came down here and looked at this, um, you know, like you do, you think, oh, I wonder if you can jump off into space. And, um, well, I'll show you because it did cause me a little bit of concern. So there we go. And um, I stayed like that for some time. So uh, just give me a few minutes and uh, hopefully we can rectify this. Well, I hope so because before it took me ages to sort it out. So note to self, don't jump out uh, into space. So here we are. We uh, yeah, we eventually uh, beamed to the bridge. It takes about two or three minutes, but um, the first time that happened, I was quite concerned because you couldn't actually do anything except just float around in space. But it does actually beam you back onto the bridge, and um, I do thank my fleet friend for that and for uh, um, telling me about that because I was you know initially I was a bit panicky about that. Okay, so um, yep, we've. Um, seen the skins of the ship we've seen the outside of the ship we've seen the inside and seen all the quirky bits on the inside we've seen part of the crew of dematerialized into the uh, bulkheads partly and we've seen part of the shuttle bay which is missing so there are a couple of issues here that uh, cryptic just need to look into um so uh, all in all although i do like the design i'm concerned about these little bits and pieces i mean this wasn't this is not a cheap bridge to buy um for for this ship and you would expect that um if you are paying the zen for it that it it, it would be okay you know the shuttle bay um yeah fair enough who's going to jump out into space but you would expect that, that those little uh <laughs> those little bits would have been sorted out before now as well as people you know with no legs sitting around or either dematerialized partly into the bulkheads or uh, into the floor anyhow so yeah cryptic if you're taking notes please can we sort this out because uh, yeah it's not a cheap bridge to buy and i really do like it uh, it just has some strangeness to it that you need to sort out right so let's take her into battle and uh, let's see how she performs shall we because um, yeah i uh, i'm eager to test it out so see you in just a few minutes so here we are counterpoint so let's see how she performs She's certainly very, very manoeuvrable. I really like her. Whoa, that was... Yeah, we owned that one, didn't we? That's one portal closed. We did all right there, didn't we? Oh, we've got another one now. Dear me. Right, it's all go here, isn't it?
I have to say, I think she's quite a resilient little ship, this, as well. Um, although I don't help myself when I fly into explosions, really, but... Um, Oh, he must be the most unluckiest Terran ever just to fly in front of me when I was uh, just behind him. There we go. I mean, you'd think she'd learn a lesson by now, wouldn't you? Telling us to surrender when we're actually winning, you know. Well, you would do, wouldn't you? You'd lower your defences and surrender just because somebody tells you to, wouldn't you? You'd, you'd do that. Uh, not. She's a fun little ship to fly. I, I, you know, I, I would highly recommend her if you can... Uh, Stretch to paying for this um, for this legendary pack. I would definitely go for it because um, if, like me, you like the original designs, I think that in itself is, you know, quite cool. I must admit, I'm I'm, I'm not very keen on the uh, on the other skins. I think this is my favourite one. You know, I'm not saying that she's a an absolute tough ship to use in PvP or anything like that, but there's more to play in this game than just um, PvP and DPS. I, I really I play the game because I really enjoy it. I like the like all the colours. I like the uh, I like the challenge and yeah, beating people online as well. That's quite that's quite cool. I've got lots of cool friends in my fleet. Yeah, I don't do too bad. Right, so we're cutting these down well and truly, aren't we? We're getting through them. Hang on, who's got a tractor beam on me? Let's, uh... Oh, there you go. Right, so that's got rid of him. We'll zoom out a little bit because I'm going to have an epileptic fit with all this flashing going on here, aren't I? So right, let's um, let's survey the battlefield. We've killed loads, and there's loads come back again. Right, so let's let's get in there and get some spread a bit of happiness about, shall we? in all the fun I've forgotten to uh, show you the console here which is the Genesis seed so let's let's get over here and launch the Genesis seed shall we there we go off we go she's launched there she goes. So she, yeah, there it is. She pulls all the ships in. So this creates a Genesis planetoid, drains and damages nearby enemies, then explodes. That's handy, isn't it? That's, there, is it gone? There we go. Well, it looked quite cool, but I don't know what damage it did, but it looked quite cool. Right, so here we go. This is looks like to be the last leg of things. Let's um, let's sort these reinforcements out, shall we? You haven't seen 
seen the last of me. Well, wasn't that cool? I um, I really did enjoy that. Um, she really did uh, give a good account of herself, didn't she? I hope you got a rough idea of how manoeuvrable and uh, what you can actually do with this ship. Um, but yeah. So, um, just before we go, I'll walk back to uh, Earth Space Dock and we'll have a quick look uh, at a, a new trait which has come out, which I've used today. And uh, I, I, I think you'll find it really useful. Um, that's if you have the lobby. Right, so before we call it a day, I just thought I'd introduce you to a new trait which everybody appears to be talking about. And um, yeah, I am quite impressed with it really, which is why I bought it and um, I'm trying it out. And I really do like it. So I'm going to uh, just share with you now what this trait is. And I think you'll find it will be a very popular trait for people in the future. And this is it. This is the Bolimer effect. And this, this can be purchased on the Lobby store for 200 Lobby. And this gives a 17.5% chance to recover the recharge time of all other bridge officer abilities up to their shared category cooldowns. Now, I, I don't do Ox to Bat. Um, I've never been keen on it. I don't like tying up um, my duty officer slots but uh, some people do like it you know I'm, I'm not particularly keen on it however this bolimer effect renders this and auxiliary to bat um, kind of uh, useless now um, and i really don't know why i was running this uh, today but i don't know that you noticed i hardly pressed it uh, because i didn't have to the cooldowns were coming thick and fast and um, yeah I, I've, I've still got to get my head around it don't get me wrong because there's still some complexities in it but um, what I would like to say is if you can afford this trait from the lobby store, I would highly recommend it. Uh, so, um, yeah, get this popped on your build and, um, yeah, you should be rocking and rolling. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this review and um, it has been a bit of a long one, so I do apologize. But, um, yeah, please don't forget to uh, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And, uh, yeah, a like would go down well. Uh, so on, uh, until next time, this is uh, Jester signing off. Uh, sorry, number one, what was that? We have a transfer from Captain Valentine. All oh, right, excellent. And who, who's he transferring? He's, he's transferring Mr. Potato Head's brother. Oh dear. And um, right, and um, what? You've got some bad news. His brothers organised a fight with uh, a Klingon. And I have to fight for him as well. Oh, sh**. Well, that's going to be fun.